This is not a, a money thing here, this is a compassion industry uh, and we have to be part of our insurance and clients lives. In today's world when the consumer doesn't understand where what insurance is and how it works having somebody that they can turn to is one of the most important things an insurance broker works for you my main focus when I'm talking to a client is to find the best coverage for them at a price that they're comfortable with choice education advocacy the fact that we are independent and we're working for the public, not a corporation. The value that we can bring to the table that truly differentiate is that human touch, is that face-to-face -face aspect of it, that relationship. They need your advice. They need to know how to protect their most valuable possessions, and you're there to guide and help them. I think I'd like to clarify our role as a broker. The public doesn't seem to understand the difference between insurance companies, agents, and brokers. Um, as a broker, we're completely and utterly independent. We're not an insurance company. We're working for the public. We're working for the client. And that's the only person we're working for. You know, I like this question because they're endless. I think the opportunities are endless. Essentially, the opportunities, I would say, are limitless, really. The sky's the limit. The, the opportunities are endless. Uh, when you come into this business, you are going to get out of it what you put into it. If you want to have a 9 to 5 job, you will have a 9 to 5 job. If you want to bring more to the business and more to your book of business and your own brokerage in a small community or a big community, you can. It's all up to you as to what you do. Kindness. Commitment. Excellent listener. Communication. Compassion. Organization. Self-drive integrity. You need to be a good listener. Honesty. I think you generally have to care about your clients. No matter how you go about your day, there's always that one client that you get um, once a week or once a day that makes the job worth doing. Um, it's, it's definitely a fulfilling feeling to go home and know you've helped somebody out. The gratifying feeling I get is when they leave my office thinking, you know what, I learned something when I went in there and you know what, I trust her. She knows what she's doing and she's a professional and that's the message I want to get across uh, from, you know, in our next generation that this is a professional industry and you need someone helping you along. From the gratification standpoint that we all get when we are in the business is you're truly helping people every day. The fireman is not the only person rushing to the scene of a fire. Um, there's an insurance professional that's there as well. Once the fire is put out and the family saved, well, it's the insurance aspect that puts that family back in the position they were before that fire happened. The fire department leaves, the insurance company is there, the broker is there, we all work in tandem to put that family back into hopefully a happy environment again. I don't work for the insurance company, I work for the client. If you work for the bank or the direct seller, your main concern is whatever goals the boss is giving you that particular month, whatever product they're pushing you to sell. And my goal is to look through my policy and make sure my client has the right coverage so in the event of a loss, we can't say, oh no, sorry, you don't have that coverage, you didn't pay extra for this or that. So it's, it's different because my main concern is, is the client because I'm, a, I'm an insurance client too. The human touch, I think, gives the broker the true differentiating factor. Yes, we have choice. Yes, we have various markets that we aren't limited to just the one. But I think at the end of the day, it comes down to relationship. It comes down to that human level. And having the opportunity to meet the person that's going to take care of you face to face and shake hands and have that eye contact and build a relationship to move forward, I think gives us the greatest advantage. You have the ability to choose. It's not a, you have to work 15 hour days. You don't have to do that. Your development and your ambitions are self-driven. I think I have the utmost freedom uh, with this career to maintain my life as a, a complete balance. I'm able to go um, and set my own hours within reason and uh, it provides me to be able to pick up and go when I need to. 
advice that I'd give anybody starting out as a broker is you need to be disciplined and you need to work well on your own. And you know what? Seek out your peers. Everybody's willing to help you. To be a good broker, I think you need to be passionate about your industry. Um, because there is those misconceptions and you, I mean, you have to have a bit of a thick skin too. Um, but if you're passionate about what you do, whether it's an insurance broker or anything, any, in life in general, you're going to be good at it. First of all, you've picked an excellent career. Second of all, be prepared to work hard, be prepared to listen, and be prepared to execute and have that commitment and passion to carry you through the years. Look into the college courses in your area, look into the college courses that are offered around and, and definitely come and talk to a, a local broker if you're interested and you have questions. We're happy to talk to people about it and encourage them. I think uh, if you're considering a career as an insurance broker uh, that you want to take a look around in, in your local community and see if there's a firm or uh, a brokerage that exists, maybe the one you're doing business with right now for your own personal insurance where you have that relationship already built and that might be the first door to open to open your career in this wonderful industry.